What's up guys, welcome back to another exciting LumaFusion tutorial. So in this video, we're gonna go through some of the presets I believe is added to LumaFusion 2.1. I haven't seen them before. These are basically presets that's made by LumaTouch and added to the sound section. So again, we're gonna jump over to the sound and I'm gonna show you how you can easily add some really cool effects to your voice, like echo, robotic voice and I'm also going to show you how you can adjust these uh, presets to make them fit your audio file by changing some of the parameters which is already adjusted by LumaTouch. So I think we're going to jump over to LumaFusion and start this tutorial and before we do that make sure to subscribe and put notifications on and like this video if you haven't already. Now let's jump over to LumaFusion and I'm going to show you some of these cool presets. <laughs> So when we get into LumaFusion, there is a couple of sound effects or voice effects that we can apply to our footage. I'm not sure if this is something new implemented into LumaFusion by LumaTouch with the 2.1 update. So I haven't really paid any attention to the sound inside of LumaFusion and the preset that they have, but I do believe that they added some more presets in this LumaFusion 2.1 update. And we're gonna take a look at that in this video. It's gonna be a super Super short video so we're just gonna jump over to the presets that probably has been implemented in the 2.1 release uh, so what we're gonna do is to go into edit on one of these clips that you can see on our timeline first we can do a playback so you can listen to the voice before we apply some presets so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do some filming and uh, just um, do all of that move this camera around so you can see what we are doing and once th so there you heard a little bit of the voice now let's double tap on this clip and then go over to audio if we're automatically taken to frame and fit on the left side you can easily tap on the sound icon which is here that will bring you to the audio section and we're now going to go over to a distortion which is on the top right corner and as we tap on that you will see that we have the distortion here and we have all the effects that we can tweak down the line on the right side. But on top here, you can see that we have some presets and it says now customized. If we tap on customized, you will see that we have a lot of different presets here that we can use to make some cool effects to our voice as well as this speech waves. This gives us that robotic voice if we want to apply that to a meme or just to make our sound look a little bit different. So now apply this uh, speech waves to our clip. Now let's go to the beginning and then do a playback. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do some filming and uh, just um, do all of that. So you can basically hear that we sounded more robotic than the previous one. This is the normal voice. Do now and if we now apply this one and uh, just um, do all of that, move this camera around so you can see what we are doing. And you can hear that we get a different voice. There is also different presets here. There is some echoes. So if we go to the beginning again and do another playback. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do some filming and uh, just um, do all of that. Move this camera around so you can see what we are doing. So there we have the uh, ghostly distort uh, echo voice and you also have some other echoes which is uh, more of the normal echo which is your sound and just the echo to your sound as well. There you have the echo. You can also adjust the decay and the delay so it's not that much of an echo to your uh, audio. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna do some filming and uh, just um, do all of that. Move this camera around so you can see what we are doing. So let's do another playback. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do some filming and uh, just um, do all of that. Move this. So the only thing you have to do is to go down to the preset here, select the preset that you want to apply to your voice 
and then simply go down and change the levels of those which are already adjusted to make it harder or softer. So with that said, I hope you learned something new from this video. And if you did, make sure to subscribe, like, and share. It really helps me out a lot. And I also mentioned in my community tab that we will be opening a new uh, type of section for the LumaFusion Masterclass course, which is on Patreon. So make sure to jump in on Patreon in two days. The price will be significantly lower and you will also get some presets and overlays and a bunch of stuff as well as a couple of videos each month. So with that said, it's time to end this video and until next time, make sure to create some awesome stuff inside of LumaFusion and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. It's weird, standing up recording a video. I've never done that before. Kind of feels good.